All right, welcome back. So we're still uh, still messing around with Isis at the moment. It's the top of turn five, and I've done the you know the uh, route movement for the end of turn four now. I think I posted some stuff on Facebook earlier on and said I hadn't done that, but um, I've certainly done it for this side, and I'm about to do it for the. Uh, for the Persians, and you'll see here that we're going to get a one, two, three, and off. That's going to be 10 points, and this dude will be another five points. It'll be 15 additional incremental points, and this guy, one, two, three, four, five. So he'll sit in the edge. All these guys will need to route eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you know, these guys are all going to be up here. And we see that even with, with, with 15, I'm at 132, I think it's 135 for collapse. Uh, so, and, and, and the um, Macedonians only got 50 some, so <clears throat> it's not good. It's over, and then what we're gonna do is work out, uh, what I'm curious about is if this had of all, some of this other stuff over here, here had it transpired, uh, next turn, I think we would have had a very different situation because over here with Palmanio or Palminio uh, or Palminion, depending on how you want to uh, pronounce it, the, the these guys here, he has a, uh, a five on seven for that chappy. He's got uh, six on seven for that guy. In fact, that should go down to a five, I think, because we saved our roll. I think that's how that works. Same with this dude, he would probably go down one, but look, I've got all this light cav here that's gonna pretty much run amok with these chaps. He can recover some steps, uh, some steps, some uh, co cohesion hits, and then uh, start harassing the left flank, and this would be, if we could uh, break these guys, that would be 10 and 10 uh, steps, uh, route points, not good. Then the question is, is that enough to force Alexander to stop what he's doing over on this flank and come back over this side? And I think a lot of that's gonna depend on what would happen here in the middle of the map, which is not, whoops, which has not gone as well as one would hope. It would appear that my camera has decided to not behave itself. Let's see if we can get it to sit still. We'll zoom in here a little bit. Sorry about the, the wonky camera, guys. I really, uh, really need to change some of my equipment. Okay, I'm just gonna give a little support here. So the phalanx has crossed the river, picked up a few um, cohesion hits, but then managed to attack into here. They actually paused in the river and did uh, some recovery uh, using, where was he? Uh, using their leader. Actually, I used Parmenion. Or was it, no, Craterus was Craterus I used. So we used him over here to recoup a few points and then go into the attack. Uh, I missed putting missed putting points on this guy here but this attack didn't go as well as I'd hoped I rolled a four a six uh, shoot I think my stand has just decided to cock itself right now it's not sitting at all sorry but I rolled a zero on this one and took uh, three hits and I already had two so they're very close to breaking uh, which would be bad <coughs> and, we, and we only put two hits on all of these guys so it would really be up to the hippocysts and uh, the agama here to pressure the flanks right here. Keep pressuring these flanks, but we're also going to have to deal with the bodyguard cav coming over and they're going to have to deal with the immortals who are no slouches themselves. So it would have been, I think, an interesting turn five, but the reality is I think with Alexander mostly fresh now over here, 
he is going to sweep into this mess and really start racking up the points. And I think it would have been at that point that uh, Darius would have said, yeah, I'm out, uh, which was obviously what happened. So uh, a pretty one-sided affair. Wow, we really are just having issues, aren't we? Let me see if I can set it down. Uh, so uh, a fairly one-sided affair, but a very interesting battle. It, it, it took a long time for the momentum to build up in this particular conflict here. And, but once it did, once Alexander got across this, uh, this river here, the Padaris, in good shape, and started flanking, and e even with the historically accurate extra light cav over here, he tore through those like a, a knife, a hot knife through butter, beat up on the Cardassis here, and then carried on and focused, I focused the effort for them on attacking routed units so that we would bump up the route points pretty quickly. Uh, you can see the dead, you can see the dead pool right across here, right? Uh, attacking routed units because they're cheap easy attacks to do and it, it accelerates the the route point accumulation and put us in a position to win the game early versus uh particularly given how things were going over here where we had lost uh lances three uh peltists and uh a light cav uh, and almost have lost all the all the heavy cav here the thessalians uh, are really having a hard time of it so a tight battle. These chaps uh, managed to meander in here and, and knock out a few routing units, but really didn't do anything of a particular note. Uh, I didn't have a commander in range to allow the screening force to do very much. I decided to press everybody in, and it was uh, uh, all in for the win, hoping that these guys would not be able to advance in time to try and knock, uh, attack these guys from the rear or, or attack them when they're routing. Uh, so a pretty close fought battle, but uh, in the last turn or a turn and a half, the tide really turned against the Persians and it was uh, a, an ugly thing to behold over here on, on this flank here. So anyway, I thought I'd wrap that up. I think uh, I've got two or three different posts coming out uh, There'll be a, a write-ups for the gameplay, and we'll we'll kind of carry on from there. I've also got some historical stuff that you should see over the next few days if it's uh, not already out. So stay tuned and look at the the blog as well as the YouTube channel. Uh, lots of good stuff coming out, and uh, lots of good stuff that we uh, uh, are sharing over the next few months. So I'm going to start getting back into a regular cadence of uh, reporting and writing and all that sort of good stuff. So thanks for sticking with me while we uh, got through this move. All the best.